In this video, we're going to take the HIK rig that we made in Maya and bring it into Unity and set it up using Mechanum so that it's all ready to start using for gameplay and animation. So we've exported our FBX file to our assets folder in Unity. So if we go in here and we look up FBX models, characters, there she is. Dear girl HIK. Let's drop her into the scene. Zero her out. Okay, there. Now I'm going to put a little ground plane for her to walk on. So we can just create a 3D object and we'll just do a plane for now. We're not going to do anything crazy just to start because I want you just to get an idea of how this works. I don't want to complicate things on you. So we do, whoops, we'll do 10 and 10. Okay, there we go. All right, so our character's there. Let's just change our light angle so it's actually more on her face. There we go. Cool. Okay, so what can you do with this character? If you don't know Unity very well, this is a very daunting step, and it can be very difficult, especially if you're using custom rigs, because some of your naming conventions may not be correct. I would suggest downloading some game-ready rigs wherever you can find them and examining their rig structure so that you can understand how they're named. And that will make this step here a whole lot easier for you. So let's click on this character. And you can see right now the animation type is set to generic. We don't want to do that. That's better for dogs and other, and maybe aliens. This is a humanoid, so that makes the solve a lot easier. So we're going to set that to humanoid and press apply. And I'm doing that not in the Unity editor window. I'm actually doing this to the file. This is an important thing to remember. It took me forever to figure this out. I'm doing it to the actual file, OK? This is how Unity is interpreting this file into the scene. You can, if you want different interpretations, you have to make duplicates of the file. So we're going to go into configure. We'll save this scene for now. I've also made a scenes folder. This doesn't happen by default, but I've made a scenes folder. So we'll just call it that for this demo. All right, so here's our character. So let's take a look. So what you can see here is Unity has assigned the bones to this character's rig. And we're going to go through and just make sure that these bones are correct. If you actually look at the bones, you should see if you step through them, whether or not they've applied to the right spot. Let's just go here, have a look. And in general, I've already tried this rig a couple of times and everything has applied correctly, except for one spot where we'll just go straight to. But I encourage you to make sure you check all these out. If you've named your rig fairly well, you shouldn't have too many problems but sometimes you get them and it can be very confusing and frustrating. Currently, I have the joint head, the girl's head root, assigned to the left eye, which is not what we want. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I also have a lot of extra joints. I have these roll joints and everything else, and these are just gonna sit in the world. They don't matter because they're parented to this primary bone right here. So Unity doesn't really care. The only thing I have to deal with is the head and the neck. So for the neck bone, I will keep the one that we have here at the base of the chest. And then for the head, I'm going to grab the head root bone and use that one. So I'll just go in here. And I did name it head root, so I can type head. Well, there it is, joint head root. And I've given all my joints the prefix G JNT so that they're easy to see, especially when I'm working in Unity. So I've just assigned the head root joint, and that's going to be up here somewhere. So these joints are just going to get thrown into the calculation. They don't really matter. There's not a lot I can do with them unless I'm using a custom rigging system inside of Unity. But as far as Mechanum is concerned, that, that is what we're going to be using. OK, so the character is ready to go. So we will apply this, and then we can be finished. Great. What does that give us? Well, it doesn't give us a lot. We can't really do anything with her yet. She's still just standing there. We can't really see her bones. I mean, we can open them up and have a look at the hierarchy of them. We actually don't need this. We have these, this control reference. We actually don't need that. And so I'm going to actually re-export this character without the control reference. So I'm just going to stick that outside of here. And we will select this and just export everything in this selection. So let's just do this again. Make sure that we have export selection and not export all. OK, so you can see it updated and removed the control reference, which is great. I can just put that back in there if I want. It doesn't really have to be there. It doesn't matter. Just makes it cleaner when you're importing the rig into other scenes. OK, so our character should be all set up with all her bones and her joints and everything going. If you want to, you can take a look and see and make sure they're kind of moving, which they are. Um, you can make sure everything's connected and working as you'd expect. So I think everything's ready. So in the next video, we'll get started with recording and retargeting animation for this character.